This is Sheet Lord. This is a really interesting little app that I've created inside of a Google Sheet that's available completely for free right now over at bettersheets.co slash sheetlord. If you're a lifetime member, monthly member, or even not a member and watching this somewhere else other than Better Sheets, you can get this absolutely free. And I'm going to show you how I keep adding new features. The idea behind this is that we have a number of websites, Twitter, Spotify, Twitch, Gumroad, Expedia, Google Maps even, Upwork, Fiverr, some job sites, some developer sites like Product Hunt, GitHub. All of these sites, you can create a URL with a keyword phrase. You just have to combine the words with either plus signs or percent 20. And a lot of them, I'm searching for different phrases on different days, or I'm trying to search for competitors. I'm trying to search for phrases of how people are using it, what kind of Websites in the knowledge category like Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, I'm looking at competitors, but not based on exactly who they are, but what are their topics? What are they talking about? And I want to change this keyword from like Google Sheets to spreadsheet information or data visualization. visualization. And immediately when I type in, in this B2 keyword, place, every single link is edited. This allows me to then search very quickly. And one other thing about Google Sheets that allows me to do this is if I select, let's say these four links, I can right click, view more cell actions, and I can open links. And that's going to open every single link. So now I have a bunch of tabs that I can search for very quickly. See, what is the conversation about what is going on. Here's AI tools to create simple data visualizations. Okay, people are talking about AI here. Okay, differences between Power BI Excel. I can quickly see what is the conversation about. And the cool thing is I can do this for all now 50 plus. Now there's over 60 sites here. So if I wanted to see what are the courses, I can select just those. Now, this is really cool, right? I can save keywords here. I can do Google Sheets and see what are the Google Sheet courses out there. Right click, view more cell actions, open links. I have all the sites now searching for Google Sheets. See the top what ones, what are they talking about? What are they thinking about using productivity, right? So that's pretty cool, right? I wanna add one more thing to this sheet, this search lord to make it fairly more interesting to use, right? This is one tab, but we can create new tabs that are new features that are using the same information, but in different ways. So let's duplicate this tab and I'm going to say search some. Now the idea of the search is that they're all available, but let's say I've only selected three or four and I don't want to have to keep coming down and finding them. So what I can do here is add a column to the left and it is going to be checkboxes. Insert checkbox. And now when I select, let's say Twitter, Twitch, and Amazon for whatever reason, or maybe all of, let's just do the marketplaces. Let's go marketplaces, all of these. If I just want to see these and I don't want to have to scroll down all the way, I'm going to select them all. And I want all of these to appear in some kind of place for me. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to do this over to the right. I think. No, I think actually to the left is going to be nicer. And to the left. And all I want is a filter. I'm going to take the range of D column where the B column is equal to true. So I'm taking all of the D column and just filtering it wherever B is true, which is a checkbox. And there are my links. So now I can select all of these easily without scrolling down. I can select some of them, not even in like a a row, like if I selected all of these, but I don't want to search Gumroad, I'd have to command click and that's a few clicks, right? But having these saved where I can search some and there's the list. I can just select these and search them quite easily. So that's search some. This is totally duplicatable where as a user, I could say, oh, I want a marketplace search. I want a developer search. I want a course search. I want creative search. I can create those tabs as a user, whichever ones I select. Cool. That's a nice little addition to this. I do want, however, a few other things about this, right? When I select none, I get an error. So I'm going to say 
if and a select sum in column b. And now I select sum, I have our, let's say, Google images, right? And now I have some. Well, I want to make something else where I can select all of these instead of actually selecting all of these, hitting the space bar a couple times. How do I do that? Select the B column, press space bar a couple times, and that now resets. I want to create a tool for someone to just click easily. So let's go to, to extensions, app script, and add a custom menu plus the ability to uncheck all of search sum, column B. It's going to be fairly simple, but I think this is going to be very fun and interesting for you if you're following along and trying to make products inside of Sheets yourself. So call this search lord. We need an onopen function. I'm going to go to bettersheets.co slash snippets, and I have one already saved here. This function onopen, I can delete some things, rename this from custom menu to search lord menu, reset, check boxes, and I'm going to call this uncheck all on search sum. But this second part, this reset check boxes, is what I want to actually write a function for. Reset chunk check boxes. So function, reset check boxes. We need to make sure we're on the right sheet. So we're going to get variable sheet equals spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get name if sheet is equal to. Let's make sure we get this exact name. Then we're going to do something, which is spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet get sheet by name search sum in quotes. This will be variable search sum equals this. Now we're going to do search sum dot get range b colon b in quotes dot uncheck. I think that's all we need to do. I'm going to right click and format document to make it look a little nicer. Let's delete some spaces. Save this. Now in order to open this menu, I need to actually close the sheet and refresh or, and open it. So refresh will close it and open it again. Up next to extensions, there's help, and now there's a search lord menu. So if I select some here, and I click uncheck all on search some, it will need to authorize the very first time I run it. Great. Let's continue. And there, it unchecks everything. And it won't ask me to authorize again. Uncheck all. There we go. Really cool tool. If you are interested in getting this, it is absolutely free over at bettersheets.co slash search lord. You can find it see what new and interesting updates. If you get it now, I'm going to be adding more and more interesting things to this sheet, some more features. I'll do that in some other videos. But right now, right here, go get Search Lord and get it as you see it here. I might be adding also some more websites. There's a lot here, but there's so many more. Basically, it's a really cool little formula that we have where we get the search URL, and then we either substitute spaces with plus signs or... There is also encode URL, where I have some of those here. Basically, we can, instead of substitute, we can use encode URL, and we don't need this substitute part, and we'll get the exact same link. There we go. Searching for Google Sheets in Google. That's really cool. I think that's really fun and interesting that we can use both of those formulas. And hopefully that's a really cool, interesting thing for you to see that all of these formulas are looking at one cell. So we can edit this text completely with just editing in the B2 field. Really cool. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know what you need, what you want out of Search Lord if you want more interesting features. Thanks so much for watching. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is going to be your next Google Sheet.